Hello everybody, I'm Leanne <laughs> and he's Jake <laughs> and welcome to our Friday Sews and the date is, what date is it? Alexa, what's the date? It's Friday the 13th of January. Oh, Friday 13th, it's Friday Sews on Friday the 13th, excuse the state of me, um, yeah. Hair clipped. I always stop my videos saying that. I'm always a mess in videos. But yeah, I just got some like cream on my spots and yeah, so my hair's just chucked back out the way. Uh, Jake's just a bit sad. He just stood on a, a finding for you. And I did warn him he'd fall on the floor and to put his slippers on while I was picking them up. But um didn't quite make it to the slippers I do before you stood on it and it hurt your foot, didn't it? Are you okay now? Big boy's gonna have his hair cut next week. He's not a fan of having his hair cut. Um I haven't done any sewing since my last video. So, in the last video, I made you pants, didn't I? Dinosaur and race car pants? Yeah. So, Jake today wants to sew some bunting. Can I show everyone your fabric? Oh, and one Dalmatian fabric. And there's more bay, isn't there? And where's the other one? So we cut cut the shapes out ready, haven't we? So we're gonna piece them together and then we're gonna use my brother is an embroidery quilting and sewing machine M280D. We're going to be using that. So I set it on a slow speed. My hands go by the needles, Jake's don't, but he will push the fabric by there and he uses his other hand to push down on the pedal, don't you, to make it go because obviously his little legs can't reach the floor yet, can you, from Mommy's lap? So yep, Jake is going to be doing the sewing, he's a good boy. When I say go, he starts doing it, when I say stop, he lifts his foot up, or his hands up off the pedal. Then I lift the presser foot up and I turn the fabric around, you know, when we get to one point to... Uh, have a face in the other way. I put the press foot down and, and you drew it all in, didn't you, handsome? And you picked out some ribbon. Um, just after Christmas, didn't you? You picked that out from the what store, wasn't it? So we'll add that across the top of it. I doubt I'll get any other sewing done later, but I have been jewellery making again, so I will show you those. Um, yeah, I can't... I, my tripod is still broke for my camera. I've got a selfie stick. That's a bit wonky as well. Um, we can't find it anywhere to film. So I don't think we'll manage unless... Let me see if my phone fits in this glass a minute. Oh, oh I can't reach. I can't reach. This phone fits in this glass. Let's have a look. No, my glass is... I don't know what button I pressed when I was reaching for a glass, but the phone went off. So I'm trying to find something to stand my phone in so you guys can watch us, even if I do it on a time lapse or speed it up. So you can see some of Jakey's sewing. But if I can't find anything to stand you in, we will just show you at the end when we're finished. Um, hope you all had a good day. Um, it's quite. What's the time now? Um, do you know what the time is? Do you want to ask Alexa? Alexa. We love it for it to you, yeah. Alexa. Alexa, what's the time? It's 4.29 p.m. Oh, so it's half past four UK time, Friday the 13th. So you've um come in from school, haven't you, babe? You've been home for about an hour now. So, yeah, so we shall get this sewing done and, um yeah, we shall catch you guys later. Hello, I'm back. So Jake is finished. Oh, I can see my cream coming off. So I, I, I wipe my makeup off, apart from like eye makeup. And then put like a mask on for my spots, but it's starting to crumble off now. I'm starting to see everything coming back up. Which is, I, if I remember, I will include <laughs> a clip I set my friend earlier when I got none of this cream and stuff on hiding. And you can see my spots. And I put like bloody toothpaste job on them. So funny, yeah, not good. Anyway, Jake has finished sewing these, so they're still wrong sides together. It's so cute. I love the wonky bits. I'm just going to trim off the excess before I turn them inside out. Um, I can't, it wasn't counting how many pieces we did, but we've got, most of them are like matching. So it's just, we didn't like center the characters. We wanted to use as much fabric as, you know, we can all of it basically. So we've got, um, 
triangle right side up and then where the print is upside down that's obviously going to be the back and then we had two pieces where there's different pattern either side but all the others were the same pattern on back and front so I'm just going to trim these up so God knows whether they'll end up triangles or some wonky ones but I'm so proud of him. I love having this like little special time with him. It's like me and him. I, I love mommy and Jakey time. So um, yeah, I'm going to trim these up, turn them inside out and then I will pin this on the ribbon that you chose and then he shall, um, yeah, sew it in. See you soon. So Jake has chosen the order he wants his fabric in. So he wants the Love You Forever one, then the other white one, then the orange and the blue. And he wants this beautiful purple ribbon to go over it. So we've started on some, we've gone to the toilet a minute. So I'm just waiting for him to get back so he can sit in my lap. Um, got the foot pedal on the floor now so we can just so I can just press that and then you can push it through. So I'm letting him do one and then I'm adding another one in because I didn't want to pin them all off, like, you know, pins with him. I'm just keeping that by there then. So once it's in, I can just help. But I'm just so used to having that there. But yeah, he's left-handed. So he's going to be on this knee, pushing by there. And then I'm just by you to help turn that over as we're putting the next one's in so hopefully it'll finish his wee in a minute and um yeah we can crack on this is my new helper jake no longer yeah. wants to finish his project so my beautiful little pixie yeah. mwah, 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 mwah. get off you is it get off tickle tickle mm. you're gonna help mommy with the sewer now yeah mm. yeah mm. purple that's right you gonna wave to everybody have you nummy? Say happy Friday sews. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, it was your birthday, wasn't it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It was Sophia's birthday on the 11th. How old are you? 10. You weren't 10. How old are you? Four. She was four. You know, I made her a birthday. You know, four, four, four. <laughs> four, four, four. Were you? Made your birthday cake when she was in afternoon nursery. Put you on the coffee table for her. Did I say this earlier in my video? Or am I having deja vu? I can't remember. So apologies if it has been said before. Um, so when we came like home, she saw it. Mom, I went, it's like a bridge. It is. It is like a bridge. She was so clever. I went to put coats and shoes away, gone back in the room, and she picked up the whole cake with the two hands and started devouring it, like licked all the icing off and just ah, eating it so no one else could Mom, look in. Mommy, they is our last. Hang on a minute. Oh, yep, it's going. I didn't think it was playing then. This is our last bit. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Can I use your hands in the fabric then? Good boy, ma'am. Good boy. Let me keep your hand by your chair. I know, you're very clever. Look at him, everybody. Any big boy? There we go, and um, gonna press the back button them in there. Chugga, chugga, and a bit more. There we go, mm. and then just a little bit down here before we get to the last bit. Oh, yeah, are you? Exciting! And press the back button again, darling. Mm. And again, and again, and you press the cut button. Sure. <laughs> okay, hands up. Who wants to see what my gorgeous boy has done? And we am um, Hello Betsy! Hello Betsy! This is Betsy Cat, isn't there? Yeah, he's Betsy! And she likes a squash in between all the sharp things. Hello darling! Can't do anything about you, can we, Beb? She's our girl! <laughs> oh, do you think Betsy's come to do quality control? Yeah! Yeah! Knock up this one! <laughs> so we just got to the last triangle fabric which is good because I've only got a few inches left of this three meter ribbon hello hello can you kiss his bats? yeah 
Here we go. So, Bad kids. here but, is but, Jake's but. bunting. How clever are you? Do you think this is the best thing you've made so far? Yeah, in this book. He's not even looking at it. He's looking at his bouncy thing. So, uh, Jakey. What? Yeah. Look. Look, now it's all finished. How amazing is that? Right. Where are we going to put that to? Uh, um, all on the bits on my wall. In your bedroom, is that? Yeah. That looks beautiful. Very proud of you. Mm. Oh, oh, when we go parties. When we go parties, is it? Yeah. Is yeah, this your party, Benton? Yeah. Turn... It... Oh, I am very, very proud of my squawk, boy. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Squawk, there he goes. That is absolutely gorgeous. What do yeah. you think, Betsy? Betsy. Good. Betsy thinks it's good. I bet she does. Betsy loves you, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sleepy girl. She's talking. She is, isn't she? She's beautiful. She's a gorgeous baby. Yeah. Yeah. Even now, I love mm. So I haven't got any more sewing done. I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese now for us with some garlic bread. And then I shall... Meet you later. Yeah, that's right. We shall meet you later. And or catch up later. Catch up later, that's right. And show everyone what jewellery I've been making, is there? Yeah. Okay. What kind of jewellery? Uh, some urines and some lessons. You're going to say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I've gone to the back of it. <laughs> I thought I panicked there. That was upside down. Yeah, so Jake's bit starts all the way over there. So in total we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. I think Bet's 24 triangles. So I'll give that another press. And then the hang in his bedroom. Although he has said now he just wants it for party bunting. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. You beautiful girl. Betsy's a stray we took in. When we lived in our old house by Victoria Park in Cardiff. She gorgeous. She's a gorgeous girl. Yeah, as a stray cat used to come going behind our shed and having kittens all the time and we get hold of cat protection and RSPCA and nobody did sod all. In the end we ended up taking the um the mum cat we did try to get her in the house to look after her, but she was very, very aggressive. And Jake was like a few weeks old, so couldn't have like an aggressive random cat in the house with a baby. So um, we took her to a shelter in Swansea, and um, the who the rest of her kittens went there apart from Betsy. We kept Betsy, didn't we, darling? Yeah, we kept you, my love. Oh, she's mama's girl. Yes, she is. She's so affectionate. Um, yeah, time to make food and show you my jewelry later. Hi everyone, so we've just had food. Um, and now I'm going to show you, because we haven't got anything else so in, to show you. Oh, I did have a me make on earlier today, but after the school run we all got drenched, so we just put our jammer straight on. So, I'm trying to show these out the bag. So, as everybody who knows me knows, I'm obsessed with Monsteras. Absolutely obsessed. So, those who have used them with that, those are Swiss cheese plants. I love them. So, I have made... Now, you've all of all you'd be moaning about the quality of this phone and the camera on as well. So, this is not showing up. Very... Very clear. So my polymer clay monster is shaped here ends. And if I knock my desk lamp on a minute, 
if that helps at all. So I've done those, which I really, really like. And then I've done this necklace, silver plated chain. This lovely um, bail. I couldn't think of the word then. It's not focusing on it very well, is it? And I use different shades of like goldy and brown. Different beads. We've got some two beads, some seed beads, some other ones. I would have liked to have used uh, either a gold or um, like an antique bronze, but I didn't have the right colour chain for that, so I had to use silver bail for a silver chain. But I have made urines like it. They just have the gold jump hoop from those parts but if someone wanted to buy those as a set and they wanted me to change the gold to silver I could and at the back I have these these like flexible posts these flexible plastic posts are brilliant and then like the rubber the rubber backs sorry for the interruption my husband was moaning about the state my son had left the bathroom in. Sorry about that. Uh, what are the next ones? Oh, here they are. So I use some beautiful blue seed beads to make these stegosaurus urines. Oh, I wish this would focus. Let me try putting these down and putting the camera the other way a second. I am back slightly better with this um, camera this way. So they are the urines I showed earlier. I wonder if they'll focus now on the bail of this necklace. Sorry for state my nails. I never end up repainting them for videos. I'm just too busy to. So absolutely love that. And my gorgeous Paula McClay Monstera urines. They've ended up with a little tiny bit of glitter on them. I love those. I have some little stegosaurus ones. So all these urines are on the um the flexible posts. With the rubber backs and i have oh i have a massive head downstairs of pat butcher urines now for those of you in the states you probably wonder what pat butcher is but there's a show a british show uh called eastenders um like london-based show and there was a famous character that's on there characters passed away now but um show was had these like massive 80s urines they were fabulous so anytime someone in our country has big urines there's always a Pat Butcher comment made. <laughs> so I made some big ones that uh, like this. I've got the gilding flakes in, different colour beads and these metal roses. But they are like a teardrop shape. It's probably like bigger than, you know, both those sections joined together. So I have these on antique bronze jump rings. I was just originally just going to attach that straight to that jump ring, but I thought, you know, let's have them dangle, let's have them a bit longer, make a feature out of them. So these roses are protruding from the resin. I do like a bit of a 3D effect. So they've got the same things in each one, but I've, you know, let them fall where they fall and like a bit of randomness. And this next pair, these are my favourite and I'm so tempted to keep these for myself look at that there's a bit of clay gone in there i didn't even notice that when it was set in i must have been stuck on one of the beads so i absolutely love these some two beads some seed beads and the roses again i love love those yeah really really tempted to keep those for myself and we have a trio of dinosaurs by it. it's going to focus there we go we got a, a 
Triceratops. Brontosaurus, Diplodocus, maybe not sure, just a long net one. And how cute is this Stegosaurus? I love those. And then I've done them again. So this Triceratops has like mauve coloured beads in with like that um AB crystal effect. So, you know, the light goes different. And then Stegosaurus has pink beads, as you can see. And then how gorgeous does this guy look with the blue? And then, last but not least, I have a little T-Rex. Um, he's just a random jumble of beads because they were loose beads that Sophia was playing with on the desk. So I didn't want to waste them. So um, I was too fitted to pick them up and put them back in the individual bags I keep them in. So I just put a little bit of resin I had left in my jug into the... T-Rex moulds and put those in and then I've got these two again so they do look pretty in person than on camera as always so most things do don't they um yeah and then over here we have I haven't baked these yet but I wanted some like sort of like sort of like whimsical folk art sort of little birds so I gotta bake these and then I'm gonna have those hooked onto these sections as urines and then as a necklace. But I wanna cut them, you know, cut and play with some more clay before I put those in. So these are all the off cuts from the bunton. Oh come my child, I can even go in wild in this room. That um haven't made anything else. Oh, apart from this little bowl. It's got some spare beads and bits that we had on the desk earlier, but so I made this out of resin. I've used gilding flakes. Put them under the light, actually. Some gilding flakes in there with some gold and like copper and some silver. Then I use some glitter. I don't know if can you see all the difference. Yeah, it's like the bowl's faceted. So like all the little. Whoop focusing going funny then so yeah I add beads and there's now just to tidy up the desk for us to do the sewing but what I'm going to do is actually turn this into a little pin cushion you never have too many pin cushions can you so I'll um yeah you know some stuff in my wadding and bits and bobs or you know and fabric and then plonk him in there so I think that's quite cute I like making these for um people for the wedding and engagement rings and stuff and normally put petals in that they've had from their flowers from when they got engaged or married and i have been using this if you watched it's either my last video or the one before i did this embroidery on my uh embroidery machine so that's a design that's built into my m280 d my brother in and then i had some craft magnets that i glued onto the glass and then I had like adhesive back fabric from the watch shop so I just cut that stuck that onto the magnets and now just have my little you know my safety pins I always lose safety pins so and I'm always working with like elasticated trousers for Jake they're just so much easier than they when you're you know dealing with little ones some pins they're my different sizes of my hand sewing needles and then um I work a lot with like stretch fabrics as well, as well as like woven. So yeah, I like my knits. So that's my lit jersey needle in there. So I think I only use that for about five minutes. And then obviously we were doing the bunting on um, cotton. So I changed needle. So I didn't want to put the um, stretch needle back into the stretch needle tube in there in case I got it mixed up. You know, I want to wear this one down before I put a new one. So if I put that on there, I know that's the one I need to use next. So next time I go for stretch, I'll put that in. And then the needle is in there now. We'll go in there. Uh, Sophia has had a little unicorn to Nettie, my machine. And I think she wants to do something with this next. Oh, bags of fabrics everywhere. My friend brought me some gift bags with like reusable other gift bags in it and party poppers and Pixie just loves 
coming in my room and moving things around. I still haven't put my fabric away, but there that I had. If you saw my last video, I did my mini fabric haul. Ready for holidays, so that's the way. I still got like my log pile there, stuff to do. A little <laughs> glad to turn the camera around. So I have like the box room to work in. It's yeah, there's lots of loose bags and bits and bobs and stuff around. Because if I had enough, like the storage is full for there. For there. All that storage is full. My desk drawers are full. Up there is full. I've got the kids' DVDs and everything as well. And I got my cricket and resin and other projects and stuff for there. So I haven't got any room for any more furniture. So everything lives in bags and boxes. Shove down the gaps in furniture, between furniture and the walls. So I did have a bit of a tidy up the other day. And then my friend brought some stuff over for me to use. And I just got put in here out the way because it hasn't been put in the other room yet. So Sophia's just in here playing, trying to tidy up and put stuff around. My face feels much cooler now. I've got my mask thing on again now. So as my skin was getting really sore and hot again doing food so i put that on so cut out these see you can see that one showing through quite a bit they're really really painful they were quite itching as well so my friend was worried i might have chicken pox come in because i have some but there and on my neck two on my leg but um i woke up with that one on monday and it's weird it's drying around the edge now like chicken pox do I've already had chicken pox before, so I don't know if I can have them again. I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, I want to do some more sewing out tonight, but the kids are just getting settled in bed. So I'm not sure what to do. If they get my sewing machine going, if they sleep and then I come to sew, it's fine. But if they're awake and I start sewing, they want to be in here with me, which I absolutely love. I would like them to have a proper sleep tonight. So I don't know if I'll get anything done. But I'm not going to throw all these bits and bobs out. I know I should. I should put them in a bin. But you know what it's like when you're a crafter. You do more than one craft. You end up becoming a hoarder. Because you know this can be used for stuffing. For something else. For packaging. Maybe not like when I'm selling stuff. Sends you on. But if I got... Like my, you know, glass things and some resin things I don't want scratched. I will like, you know, put them in bags filled with this just to keep them safe when I'm carrying them to and from places. So, yeah, so I got a, I am prepared. I have got a bag ready to put it in today. So I'm slightly more organised than usual. So I think I might go watch a horror film or something now. Actually, it probably won't be because my husband's a big wuss. Wouldn't watch any horror thing with me. So... I only watch those on my own when he's working nights. I thought my spot was leaking then. All my um, cream coming off is not. I had a seed bead stuck to me. Um, I was looking around. I don't know what my next project will be. Got. I started quilting. Where's my drawer by here? So this is the drawer where I have. Um, just bits I've started either embroidering on or stitching together for patchwork quilt. So most of my patchwork quilts aren't, the patches are like, you know, form a particular shape and everything's cut the same thing. Mostly I'm like, mm, fabric is not big enough to make any garments from. So I just mix and match whatever I've got left. I'm trying to see what's in this. So they've all just been bunged in this drawer, not even folded, just bunged in. So they do need to be ironed. So it was on this one. Let's have a look. Obviously, the writing's going to be backwards to you guys because of how I'm filming this. But that says Little Pixie and two butterflies on it. And then we've got some flowers and a little. I think I started this actually, like when she was a few months old, <laughs> for a blanket. She was four. <laughs> she was four on Wednesday. I'm not doing very well. Why are you doing this blanket there? What's that? What else have we got by here? We have some, oh, Thumper from Bambi Fabric next to a mustardy one with an embroidered dinosaur. And just got some unbleached cotton with a rainbow and a heart and a banner that says, oh, hang on, my sister's calling. There you go, decline that call a minute. And um, it says 
good vibes only on it so that is one of my own embroidery designs i haven't put it up on etsy yet but i do have a facebook page uh called novak embroidery designs and i do sell my designs on there once a month i have a design that's free um at the moment they're in a ps format which is like brilliant for for other machines um and I only have a little domestic machine. I don't have a big industrial one or anything. So I've been making them, obviously, designs for me to use. So at the moment, they all fit a standard 4x4 four four hoop. So obviously, you can put them in a bigger hoop, but the size won't be, you know, bigger. But you can obviously hoop up your material bigger. But on my um, Facebook page, um, if you join that, and so every month there'll be a design that I design at the moment, because I haven't got the software I'm sending them off to someone else who's like digitizing them for me so there's a free design every month for everyone that's on my page and then i post these ones up or pictures of these ones then and if anyone else wants these and um, they can paypal me just two pounds so i'm not sure how much is in dollars probably less than two dollars i'm not sure what the conversion rates are at the moment but um and then i will um yeah if on your paypal then it should like give me your email address shouldn't it but if not just like send me a message on you with your email address and then i will email you the um files for this so you have the picture of it i'm sure there's proper words for these isn't there but like i'll show you it's stitched up and then there's like the color chart thing but obviously as you know if you're doing embroidery work you don't have to do the colors for this and obviously different makes and brands of threads have different numbers so I think like when I popped, when they had this back off the digitizer, the number, even though the picture showed red, when it hit on like the file you get on my machine, it was telling me to do it like a 107, which is like a gray for my thing. So obviously just have a look at the picture, pick whatever colors you want. If you're using a different brand of threads than what I have, and what have I got here? Oh, I just got a little square cut. I was no big for anything else. I got that my Patrick thing. Oh, this is some fabric Sophia was just doodling on with her felts. So she wanted to put that on a blanket. So that is going to be added to one. Um, oh, we've just got different fabrics. We've got Peter Rabbit and Bambi fabric right here. And I've just cut some squares. Sew them together. As you can see, corners match on some bits. Other bits they don't because I work with whatever size I got and I think if I end up trimming them all more to make them fit each other then I'm wasting a bit more fabric so I'm just up for higgledy piggledy quilt and then I've used this decorative stitch then to stitch in on me is this showing it better under here to stitch in the ditch um sorry it's a bit awkward trying to hold this in my hand because my tripod's gone tripod tripod oh my gosh it's been a long day what have we got right here? Oh, that is just four fabrics. These are all cottons. I don't think they're quilting cottons. I think they're dress making cottons. Yeah, they... So, and I've just stitched those together. Corners do meet. Okay. And I've used that decorative stitch again. So I think all these are designed to be different quilts. So they're not all going to be on the same one. They just I like, start some and put them together and yeah i have got lots already made though so that is good but, so that is just some unbleached cotton got iron this again now so i said it will be rammed in you and that's just got dory and nemo embroidered on there and then i think we have more of the butterfly fabric that was on another bit what else have we got so we've got butterflies in two tones and different flowers for those put together with a decorative stitch as well oh Oh, that smells lovely. It's a wax melt. This is the drawer I used to keep my wax melts in, see. Oh, that smells lovely on there. And my cherry, cherry wax melts. And this is just Peter Rabbit and Bambi sewn together. If I haven't done the stitching on that yet. Yes, yeah, stop. Oh, no. Is the battery gone on there? Ask Jakey to do the code for you then. Good girl. Oh. Okay. Hang on. 
Jay, can you help your sister, please? I said they can use my Amazon Fire Tablet for like 10 minutes now to play a little colouring game thing. We've got Winnie the Pooh fabric. So the fabric itself is just the yellow with the honey pots. And then I embroidered on my machine this piglet, Pooh Bear, holding an owl. That was built. There's a design that comes built into my machine as well. And then I'm not sure this lady's this like picture of this lady is called different things in different countries. And most of the time you see him, she's broke down as Sunbonnet Sue. I think the colours um that came up, like you know, you know, your neck thread colour what I tell you to do were different from this, but I just picked yellow because obviously I knew I was adding it to something that had yellow fabric in. So she's pretty, isn't she? Love the detail on her hat and the flowers. And then on the bottom, I've embroidered Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And again, I've got that decorative star stitch in the ditch. And then what's by you? Uh, I must have just started doing the little, the little squares. Um, oh, this is from one of her little um, baby grows. I've got a few of those cut up left, so I must have been going to put those into a memory blanket. Oh, this is another square I've made up to triangles. Another one. What have we got by here? So some tiny squares cut out. Hang on, here's another. Oh my god, it's going to take me forever to iron these. <gasps> From another one of her onesies. Oh, it's one of her little dinosaur onesies. She had when she was little. Oh, I get all emotional now seeing these baby things in here. Let's have a look. Oh, just another little square. More baby clothes. More bits cut out baby clothes ready. More cut out. Oh, my God, baby. oh that was off her first Christmas dress. And she was so tiny, I swamped her. <laughs> Absolutely swamped her. So I was going to put that in a blanket. And then, oh, this we love this so this was a onesie baby grow that we had and it says so i surprised my husband i put her in this on their first father's day <laughs> our first father's day so for you rose and daddy 2019 how gorgeous is that so it's looking quite pink on my camera i'm not sure we're showing up like on your tv but it's actually purple purple glitter vinyl more um, squares cut out of baby grow things. Oh, this I started I had this on a USB stick I bought from Amazon with different characters on, and um yeah it was just the format was terrible it kept playing up so it was a half finished Paw Patrol character. I was gonna put in the bin and Jake's like wow man that's brilliant so he still wants that in his blanket even though he's yeah not even like halfway done. Uh, more of the two triangles put together for a square. What have we got for you? Oh, a big blue bit. <laughs> Embroidered Garfield and Odie on there. Not looking forward to doing all this ironing. What have we got for you? Oh, Peter Rabbit ones, four different ones stitched together. Corners meet in, but not no decorative stitched on the seam lines yet. Uh, Donald Duck embroidered onto some mustard colour fabric. Um, another square made out of the two triangles. Oh, and this was one I was going to do for Jake. Just got that because he loved Mr. Tumbles at one point, like every child does, didn't they? So that was spotty. So I thought, oh, Mr. Tumbles. Then I embroidered an owl. And then I've got the decorative stitching on there. And then I've got, oh, his name, his date of birth, and what he weighed, seven pounds, three ounces. And then I've got some Dumbo fabric. So the Bambi, um, Peter Rabbit, and these Dumbo fabrics. And I think the Winnie the Pooh background fabrics, they were all fat quarters from Aldi and Liddles. There's a plain blue then, and I've embroidered Olaf from Frozen onto that one. So this is Winnie the Pooh fabric again, and it's got just a little 
What's this one? I think that's a Bambi one, just a small band of that across the bottom because I obviously didn't want to waste that little bit. And then I've got the same Winnie the Pooh design as earlier embroidered onto there. What have we got for you? The big pink bit. And then it says live life in full bloom embroidered. And then uh, flower. That was on the same USB stick as I had the Paw Patrol design that's buggered up. And this one did too. So there we go. Um, Bambi fabric for there. And then some yellow stripy fabric. And then embroidered Winnie the Pooh gang. And bleach cotton. And oh, that's the back of it. And then a uh, Christmas gonk. And then I have some sort of thin rectangle of some flower fabric. Um, yellow fabric, it's got white polka dots on, but I don't know if you can see. And then I embroidered an elephant with a ball. Um, I think this one, I think this one might have been going onto Jake's one as well. So on the top, I have green and white stripy fabric, like a mint green. I embroidered Mickey Mouse onto there, and then these tigers were lovely though they worked and they were on the usb stick that they had a step on that hasn't worked so these are brilliant how gorgeous are they so i use different I use different shades of orange for each tiger and then i change the the colors at the tops and then i've used the decorative when i've just stitched in the ditch i've used the decorative stitch again and then on this yellow cotton oh, you love this how gorgeous that is just super cute and then Winnie the Pooh fabric and I actually got an embroidery file that looks just like the printed pattern on the fabric so I embroidered him in there and then oh this bit is you know those little squares I've been pulling out like the two triangles making it up here's when I started piecing together those bits to do something and then, oh, we've got a big bit right here. Hang on a minute. Right. I'm trying to move stuff now. Oh, I'll hold it. Oh, there we go. Why didn't I try that sooner? So these were all little squares and scraps I had before, like I said. I'm not going to cut them all the same size to make sure the ends meet. I just get whatever squares I got, do a row of them. As I'm going along, I get small bits, I do it. And then later on throughout the year, I'll attach that row to another row and whatnot. So yeah, look, they're all wonky because obviously I think I've got the rows going that way. Yeah, so they're going that way down and then another one's gone that way. But I have tried to... So the rows are going down that way, but I had two of them that had, or four of them, no, two rows that had the yellow in. So I've made sure I've put the first yellow the same height as that yellow. So give it a tiny bit of coherence. So I'm just going to... Oh, now I'm behind the fabric. I'm not even sure what I'm showing you guys. <laughs> You might not even be seeing what I'm trying to show you. So, yeah, they are the starts. I think I do have a Christmas one I've started. I've showed that in another video. That is... Where is that? I'm curious to know where that is now. Put it away so well, I can't even find it myself. Oh, anyway, if you have a look through my other videos, I've shown that on it, but I've got some things embroidered up, ready to add on to it. So I had this little tiny square. I think that must have been from making... Oh, not this one. Oh, I think it must have been from one of the original squares, like this size. 
so I make presents and quilts and stuff for other people so it's obviously gone on a, a long lost project or someone and I've embroidered hang on let's turn this camera around under the lamp again hey we're back it's gonna take me hours tying all these isn't it there we go so a little gold Christmas tree with some red bits but I like how the um the white polka dots from behind look like little baubles of snow behind the tree as well what else have we got in here Joy Noel and a little candle, a candle, a little mouse holding the candle, an S for Sophia, a tree and a tree. And in case anyone didn't know, that is in Italian because I am part Italian. And then we have a little gingerbread man <laughs> hanging from a tree with some bulbs. And that says believe. And then I've got that. So I think I had this plan to go on the corner bottom corner blanket so that's where that's going to be the bottom corner piece and then this i was going to put on a little gift bag one of the santa stocking um, sacks that i made the kids but i didn't end up putting it on them because i liked them as they were so this will probably just end up in the blanket i still haven't taken it from the stabilizer yet so we'll trade sophia rose for presents so that was obviously going to go on jake's one and this one says a little Miss Holiday Sparkle, but my machine out of fit and sucked that into the bottom of it. So I need to do something else and attach over there. And then I'm going to sew some buttons or jewels over that, but they didn't go well. This is white felt. And then I embroidered this because Jake wanted it on a Christmas jumper for school. He didn't want any of his pre, like, shop bought jumpers that we've got so i um got a plain jumper and then we embroidered this and then i hand tacked it to his jumper and then took it off so i've trimmed down now where the there were some holes where i in the felt where i tacked it off i trimmed those off now and then i'll probably get some like iron on thing to when it goes on the blanket and then like stitch around these again and then i added some um Oh, this, what do you want to call it? I literally, I just got a bit of Pritt stick, <laughs> rubbed that over there, and then some of this deco art glamour dust. So my uncle gave me a, like a few of these ages ago. So I use these art sparkle to paint it or craft projects on fabric. The fabric can dry 24 hours yeah it's fabulous so and it's good like that hasn't come off oh look at me it's saying it hasn't come off under the clothes but it's coming off my fingers now oh well but yeah so that's really cute and then what have we got by you oh no just a little tiny tiny patch um i have this beautiful gray fabric with the leaf prints on and then how gorgeous is that little sleigh with presents I embroidered that onto there oh this was a bad idea i thought it was good at the time so obviously christmas tree fabric i thought oh let's do a cottage in the woods <sighs> like a gingerbread cottage in the woods and it looked like it's in the woods because of the trees but it's so busy you can't really see this so i will do this design again on on a, um, a plain fabric the North Pole, little star, little bricks in the chimney. So yeah, it's it's I should have done it. I thought I had a good idea, but you know what it's like. They didn't always turn out like you think, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's fine. And then sort of like a sketchy line thing of Virgin Mary, baby Jesus. I'm not very religious at all, but I do like the like nativity scene pictures for christmas even though like i'm not i'm very spiritual and you know it's paranormal and stuff i'm not like religious religious this is a file i bought from etsy stitch out beautifully but i didn't do these other mustache bits so that was a bit strange i did message the seller never ever had a reply but i could always just hand stitch on i guess but I love how the snowflakes turned out. 
it turned out really well there's a the back of it i haven't trimmed those bits yet um christmas dinosaur with a bell sorry this video is going on and on and on <laughs> um another christmas dinosaur because who doesn't love a christmas dinosaur eh? and then this is obviously a window scene so you're looking in the people outside are doing <laughs> And for some reason, it um, did the red baubles. I think, I can't remember which order it was. I think it might have done the red baubles first. I have actually got a video of this on my YouTube channel, the stitching out. <laughs> and it did the blue baubles, but then it didn't stop to change thread. Just when did their lips blue? So I just like stopped the machine. <laughs> so they've got blue lips. Maybe it's cold in the house. Who knows? And then I have this lovely striped fabric. I can't remember where I got that from, but that's the same, but in different colours. Obviously, I got that. And then there's the Mickey Mouse one. It's got the blue one. I can't remember, but I love that. And it feels, it just feels gorgeous. And then, how cute. It's like a little, little girl angel with some stars and the harp up on her cloud. I thought that was really nice. So these bits are to go on to the patchwork quilt i think the patchwork bit i got was actually like um christmas themed fabric bits so like those and other prints but then i wanted to add some of these plain fabrics and some pattern fabrics with embroidery on as well just to make it a bit interesting so they're all different sizes some of those will get trimmed down and maybe add like a few different embroideries on and and then when i've got like them you know corner to corner <laughs> if they match I'm probably going to do some applique work over the joints and everything as well. Like really busy it up and make it fun. So those are just going to go back in there. Those lot will just be banged back in my drawer. I love that. And then they just live in this. It's falling apart now. I've had this years. This little Peter Rabbit suitcase box I got from the works years ago. But... Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to spend at least one day a week, not a full day, but one day a week, doing some more Christmas embroidery. So in the lead up to Christmas this year, I can just stitch it together because I didn't get it finished in time for this year like I wanted. But um, these are for a customer of mine. She likes my whimsical, you know, things I have hand cut that aren't cut using a, you know, a cutter or measured and stuff. And these are going to Switzerland. So I think I did these January 3rd, was it? I'm not sure. But it was, yeah, definitely the first week of January. Um, Yeah, so they're polymer clay with some rhinestones and a bit of glitter on the back. So they are off to Switzerland. So, but she wants a, a few more things. So, yeah. We'll get um, the other things done for her and send them all off together. So if you've made it to the end of this video, well done, because it is long and boring, I'm afraid. <laughs> but thank you so much. Or even if you've like forwarded to the end now, skip parts or, you know, what have you. Thank you so much for coming to look at the channel. Um, please, please, please like and subscribe. I don't mind begging. Please subscribe. <laughs> I think you'll give me... um. A bit more oomph to actually get more sewing and work done then because my old channel i had for years with like all my paintings and gallery shows and everything i did and yeah it got hacked and then deleted so i was absolutely get it because i'd worked for years on that so i had to start like all over again <laughs> so because like i was just doing it for a bit of a laugh like you know i haven't got like an introduction like a proper thing on the beginning of my video is sort of more like a little just you know natter as I go along rather than being organized but I am going to try and get a bit more organized I'm a bit more structure to my videos but yeah so thank you please like subscribe share if you like or just if you do want to press the forward button just tag someone in the comments and then you know bring them you um yeah so if you would like embroidery designs for just two pound then yeah head over to my facebook page novak embroidery Designs. so that's n-o-v-a-k embroidery designs um 
I think the page, the picture on my page is that, um, oh my gosh, the rainbow, the embroidered rainbow with the good vibes only banner underneath and the clouds. So yeah, you'll recognise that. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all had a good day and can't believe I'm actually going to get this Friday. So it's out on Friday. I don't think anything else to show. Oh, actually, yep, I do. I am wearing another. I took my me made clothes off, but I do have a me made item on. So I'm gonna have to turn the camera on again for this. So this is so this is like a flat bit of metal. I've got a pack of ten of them from Amazon, and then I have my Cricut machine up there. So I put this on my Cricut machine, got my um, posh housing thing and the engraving tool and I got the little drawing of a little sun there and it says you are my sunshine on it. That was really dopey, I wanted you are my sunshine on there and I wanted the children's names on the other side. But I did this, completely forgot I'd done it because I turned it over the other side ready to do. So this side was blank, and in my head, I hadn't already done that, so instead of the kids' names, I ended up doing You Are My Sunshine again. Took it off to turn over to do the names and realised, oh, i done the same on both sides. So it's, yeah, really good. So you've got like a special tool that you bend around then, and then... I can't... Hang on, I'm going to turn the camera back around now to film it going on, sorry. This is what I mean about needing to organise my videos. Plan the video out first so I know what I'm doing. So yeah, so it's nice, just open it up a bit, slide it over, give it a squeeze so it can basically fit any size. You can have it as tight as you want, loose as you want. I am after some wider ones so I can get like some bigger pictures in, but yeah, so that, that was cute. I'm actually take it off now actually for the night and another one of my things, I like to melt <laughs> old knit needles into bangles. How cool are they? I absolutely love doing that. I've got loads of them in different colours. So I'm always on the lookout in charity shops. Or I think you call them thrift stores if you're watching in, in America and other countries. So yeah, but we call them charity shops here. Although, n lots of people's videos here don't get many views if you write charity shop haul. So people you just say thrifting now online. <laughs> just so people know what it is to come look at our, our videos. So yeah, that's my latest knit and needle bangle right i'm definitely going now i shall let you all go have a good evening and go see the husband's done the washing up if he hasn't i'm not gonna do it either <laughs> i'll just tat it in i think it's time for a nice glass of wine now and um yeah i'll probably do more sewing on the weekends and just another random video then but uh happy friday so is everyone bye